Welcome back! In this episode I'm going to show you how to take a metahuman that we made in the previous episode, not this one, but the, the other one, and turn it into a playable third-person character so that we can go and walk around with him without having to retarget animations beforehand or re-plug anything in. This is going to be very helpful. Most of these assets already exist with the new metahuman creator project. So let me show you how to build this from scratch and let's get started. In our previous episode, we built him, and he is a blueprint right now, MetaHuman, freshly designed with Unreal Engine 5.6 Preview, and you may be wondering how do we actually use him. So we can drag the blueprint into the viewport, but that's really all there's to it. There's not much else that we can do with it to get it going. You can't really add it to the sequencer. You can't really, I'll make the sun a little bit larger so we get softer shadows here, but you can't really add an animation to him or anything. It's all its all a little bit weird. So what's, what's going on there? I believe, and I don't quote me on this, but I think what Epic have thought you should do is use live retargeting. And that becomes more important as we get things like the motion matching and lots of other animations that would just not be feasible to retarget all to our new player character. So I think live retargeting is indeed the answer and uh, the metahumans are prepared for that and they come prepared for that. This is a third person project here and I can walk around with Quinn. So let's go and turn that blueprint that we'll find in the third person folder here under blueprints let's go and make ourselves a copy of that and turn that into metahuman playable blueprint so Control d will do that i'm going to call that bp mh player perhaps and just so that we can actually use it i'm going to go here to my blueprints menu and under world override i'm going to check the pawn here and select a new pawn class which is going to be my bpmh player so the blueprint class that i've just made and now if we go and play this project again you'll see that nothing's changed because <laughs> it's a duplicate of what we had before but this is actually going to go and use this blueprint now let me open that and dock it here I'm going to go and leave my metahuman blueprint open just because we need to recreate this hierarchy here or some of the hierarchy here. Just to prove a point, let me go and take my camera and just move it slightly further towards the character. So if I go and play this now, we should see that the camera is a little bit closer. And yes, we do see that indeed. So that's perfect. Let's go and add our metahuman components to our new blueprint. So live retargeting, just in case you don't know how this works, is that we don't really touch any of the setup here. So the whole event graph, all of this is going to stay intact and you add to it, you add the functionality that you want, construction script, also whatever you want to do there what we're going to do is add the metahuman blueprint underneath my mesh here and i've showed that before for das characters as well as sinti characters if you want to follow along with those variants so this is something very similar that we're going to do we're going to add a skeletal mesh component here and i'm going to call that my metahuman body and notice that this is in the hierarchy underneath the main quin mesh here and we're going to make that invisible later on and then drive this mesh underneath here. So in here, let's go and select my metahuman body mesh. You can get that from here with this body mesh thing here. You can go and show that in your content browser. Keep it selected. Switch over here and just go and put that here. So now we see the mesh down here. And we're going to do the same with the head. So we're going to retain this hierarchy that we see in the metahuman blueprint here. The face is underneath the body. So I'm going to go and do the same thing here. Once again, I click the add button and it's another skeletal mesh that we need here. And if we had been clever, we can just go and select the face, navigate there in the content browser, keep it selected. And if we do that, Unreal Engine is clever enough to provide that immediately. So if I go and select skeletal mesh now it already has the face pre-selected there and it's going to go and pop it right in here so that's sort of what we want you would do the same with these groom components here like hair eyebrows we only have the eyelashes so you'd have to go and add those with a groom component i'm not going to do that now just because it's a it's a principal thing you have to do that for for every single thing including clothing if you had a metahuman with clothing you'd have to go and recreate all these components but once you've done that all you need then is an animation blueprint an ik retargeter and an ik rig so let's go and right click here in our metahuman content browser section and head over to animation and then down at the bottom here you have 
retargeting and then IK rig just in case you can't see that I'll take my face away this IK rig and also IK retargeter now this asset already exists so that's kind of cool we don't need to have we don't need to create that anymore but we need an IK rig and I'll just call this one IKR my MH so that I know what that is save it and then open it and all this really needs is a preview skeletal mesh. And this is going to be our MetaHuman's body. So the face we can sort of ignore, but we do need the body. And in order to find out what that is, we can go to our original MetaHuman and head over to the body and then go and display this here or just go and copy it out. That also works. Copy that out, paste that into here. And then we have our MetaHuman. F will display his body without his, <laughs> his head there. And what the IK rig needs is the retarget chain so that the retargeter can work with that. Thankfully, that's literally a two-click process in Unreal Engine 5.6. Namely, this one here, auto-create retarget chains that sets up all this it's got a hundred percent accuracy because it recognizes the skeletal mesh and we also go and create the auto ik here and that again is auto recognized because unreal engine knows exactly what that skeletal is it's not like a 90 percent chance it's a hundred percent chance so auto create retarget chains and auto create ik that is it we can go and save it and then close it that's all we needed to do here with this IK rig, we can now go and use a retargeter. We don't even need to create one from scratch. We can just use the one that Epic provide us here with the MetaHumans project. But it's probably best to make a copy of it so that we can make adjustments should that be necessary. And we'll find one under characters, mannequins, and then rigs. And there's this one here, the RTG mannequin. So that's basically a Manny to Manny retargeter. That's basically, we can just put anything we want in there. I'm actually, you know, now that I mentioned that, this doesn't actually come with MetaHumans at all. Sorry about that. This comes with a third person template. So that is where that is from. I, I get confused these days. So I'm just going to go and left click and drag this out and put it into my MetaHuman top folder here. I'm going to go and let go and copy it here. And I'll go and rename that into RTG my MH or more accurately Manny to my MH because we're going from Manny to my MetaHuman. And the retargeter asset will be the thing that infers the height change. So let's go and open it. It goes, it's going from UE5 Manny to u 5 Manny. Not very useful at the moment, but great to populate with our own stuff. So this is our source and this is going to be our target. So target, we're going to give it the IK rig that we've just made for our MetaHuman. So that was this one here, IKR my MH. That's what that looks like. And now we need to go and line these guys up so typically all that we need to do here is head over to auto align and make sure we're on target here and then hit auto align all bones and that should snap this into place and then i think also if we go and type in a walking animation like walking in place you can see that the retarget is actually working perfectly well here you have to be on running retarget if you're in this here if you're in editing pause then the animation isn't going to play but if you're in running retarget then this is going to play so now in the past, and this was in 5.5 and before, you could make an adjustment here if we go switch off running retarget and you uh, pick something in the target like the upper clavicle here and just adjust that up, maybe the upper arm as well a little bit and then go do the same thing on the other clavicle two spots and then this one maybe another spot. And then technically when you go and run that again, the retargeter should sort of honor that but with 5.6 or at least with the preview version it doesn't seem to do that anymore i think it has to do with the fact that they now have this so-called op stack over here and that lets you do different things in a stack and then add and remove things to it you might be able to figure out what needs to be unticked or ticked here for this to get acknowledged if you do want to make a manual override here i haven't worked that out yet so i'm going to go and stop this and go and auto align all my bones again and then just pretend the hands are not intersecting with the body <laughs> so that's what the what the IK retargeter sort of does. I have no idea how to override it in 5.6. They've worked up until 5.5, but no longer in the preview. So it could be a bug, could be something that's fundamentally changed. I don't know. But that's what the retargeter is there for. Any adjustments that you need to make on a per character basis can be made here. And that's all we need to do here. So we can close this now. And the final 
thing in the puzzle that we need is something called the animation blueprint and we just need to make ourselves one right click animation blueprint and i'm going to call this oh yeah this needs to have a skeleton to be based on and ours is going to be the skeletal metahuman base here this one if you're not entirely sure about that you can go and open up your body's skeletal mesh and that'll show you what skeletal that is so this is this is mine definitely hit create i'm going to call this one abp my mh and save it and open it up and all we need here is literally one node which is called retarget whoops retarget pose from mesh that's gonna yell at us because this node needs the retargeter asset that we've just created so over here under ik retargeter asset that's going to be rtg many to my mh that is what this needs to infer that and that is all we need now we can go back to our player character and under the body mesh so only the body mesh needs to be driven we need to give it that animation blueprint so that's going to be abp underscore my mh that's it and that is almost all we need if you compile this guy should have snapped into the idle position but he hasn't done that very interesting let's see what happens when we walk around yes it does work it does work so we see the silver mannequin and our guy walking uh, on top of one another which is bizarre so let's go and switch off our silver quin mesh with two quick steps i'm going to go close him down here and now he snaps into place so with the quin mesh selected now type over here in the search field type vis and switch off the visibility of the quin mesh and that now gets rid of her only leaves him now you need to do one other thing if you forget that he will go and just stand in an idle position and just hover around you have to switch visibility based anim tick options so the first option, always tick pose and refresh bones. If you forget that, he's just going to go and glide. So go and compile and walk around with your very own metahuman and the bad shoulders. Yeah, I don't really know how to override that retargeter at the moment, but I'm sure there is a way. Look at that makeup and all. This is great. Meet, meet yourself. How you doing, buddy? This is, this is great. You can have a full conference of your own characters, all made and used in Unreal Engine. This is great, isn't it? Physics? Yeah, physics, yes. Uh, come back here. Don't, don't leave us. I don't know why they're white in the preview. They used to be blue, these things. Uh, they're, they're not blue anymore. Hey, one of those things. Have fun playing with the metahumans, running around, exploring exciting environments. Oh, uh, hair and clothing. This is one thing I wanted to quickly talk to you about. Not so much show you, but talk to you about. If your character needs clothing and it needs to move with the character, look into Chaos Cloth. That might make that happen all inside Unreal Engine without any additional tools. For hair, you look into groom assets. They're heavy, but they also look very, very cool. It's the same stuff that they use for the eyelashes and, and the beards and all the peach fuzz and all that. So that's what they use. You might be able to do that as well. There is an option to bring in Das hair and turn that into groom hair via Blender, if you're interested in that. But there's also tons of groom hair assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Have fun playing with metahumans. I hope this helped. I hope this helped Kiwi Hawk, who's been trying to make this work. And I hope this is helping you all and you're having a lot of fun with Epic's new metahumans humans. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next video.